Podcast, the radio, <laughs> Who's the gonna show. introduce the episode? Uh, Long y- time yes. no see, first of all, because yes, we were lazy busy. and busy. Yes, we were busy. <laughs> um, so yes. Okay, before we begin, I would like to make a quick announcement. Um, announcement or a disclaimer. We have a bird in the studio. We have a bird in the studio. It's very so loud. <laughs> Uh, and at times it might sound a bit strange or off. We're sorry, we just can't force the bird to shut up. Um, second is that uh, from now on, we will not be making episodes every other week, but it will be two episodes per month. So, but so they it's won't, every other week? Well, it doesn't have to necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. be because we won't have like a strict date that we have to upload okay. it. So you can expect two of our podcasts uh, every month um, and all other podcasts you can so ask their creators. next month there's gonna be two. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so would you like to tell the people what we're doing today because... We're doing the, the switcheroo. Okay. It, because you're doing... Oh, I'm doing what you sent me, I'm talking about the stuff that you like that you sent me and you're doing talking about stuff that I sent you and um, yes. explaining that yes. so who's gonna do do the do the do the honors of, of introducing okay. the so if you didn't understand we basically switched genres and uh, Kemo sent me three albums from three different artists that he enjoys for me to yes. listen to and um, to analyze as if I were to represent my genre as we usually do in this podcast me, and then I did the yeah. same for my music that I listen to yeah. so three different artists three different albums there, there were plans for an for a Valentine's Day episode, but, but we, we did late. not make it in time, so yeah. this is the, the official Valentine's Day episode. Even though none of these have love songs in them, but... I, I mean, yes, yeah. yes. Um, okay, so I would actually like you to start first. Okay, Because I'm interested. Okay, oh, which one are we going to do first? Um, let's start with the one you listen to first, it's fine. And then I'll... Well, the, 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 you sent me three things. Yes. I was familiar with one of them, mm-hmm. and I was not familiar with the other two. So, okay. do we start with the familiars? Sure. Okay, so uh, it's. Oh, the, also, sorry for interrupting you. We also yeah. chose to have like one older artist that's been making music for a long time, or that made music in the past. <laughs> I'm sorry, and two more modern artists that are like currently popular and currently active. Popular, well, no, I mean, uh, making, music, yes, yeah. making music. Okay, so you sent me the 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 essential Doomercore album of of the nineties, which is uh, "Ladies and Gentlemen, We're Floating in Space" yes. by Spiritualized, yes. That's which is um, um, a radio head band from. Uh, okay. From. Where, where the fuck are they from? Aren't they like from the U.S.? I have no idea where they're from, but it's their third studio album. I believe so. Came out in '97. It's, uh, I think, over an, an hour long. Mm-hmm. And it's it's I, I don't know why 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 would you send me something like that <laughs> because I didn't know that you listened to that, but I do know about the the. Not necessarily the band, but I know about the album because it's a, it's a, like at this point it's a it it has achieved the the, um, the cult status or whatever you want to call oh, it cult following yeah uh, also uh, according to uh, NME or whatever what a, they said it was the album of the year ninety mm-hmm. seven and um, yeah it was a an interesting album you know for, from the, the the album cover like what 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 type of pills are those um i think it's the album cover that actually like drawn me to 
take a listen. I don't. Okay. I think. Sorry, I have a gum in my mouth, so that makes, uh, that's, that's might very speak un- a bit. unprofessional. It's rude, but, very unprofessional. Uh, I'm hungry you. and I have to compensate while we film. Um, yes, I saw the cover first because it is a thumbnail of all uh, the tracks. Because I don't think they have any music videos. They actually have like. I mean, fr- no, I mean, I haven't. From the album. Uh, I haven't researched even after listening to the album. I didn't really think of okay. watching the music videos. Um, and yes, uh, basically, I, nobody recommended it to me. It just kind of popped up on my YouTube on random, and I listened to it. I liked it, and I mostly liked it because of the most popular song, which is the same as the album name. Uh, the title track and the first yes. first song on the album, I, I think. I believe so, yeah. yeah. Uh, because there are two different versions, I think, of that track. Okay. I've heard at least two different versions, but I'm not 100% sure if one of them was made by them or if it was more like a, like unreleased or unedited, less Demo changed up, version? something like that, I okay. believe, because there's parts of uh, like Can't Help Falling in Love that's in there. No. In one of the versions, yeah, the, and then in like the other, one of the versions, I found there's that part isn't. I don't in know. the track at all. So I don't. I, I only listened to the to the, the official yes, album yes, 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 version. Yes. I I don't remember honestly. Uh, my favorite track was the the last one. Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck <laughs> up! <laughs> it's so loud. Ah, the. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we have an expert bird producer who's yelling Chaser. at the bird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the last track on the album, mm-hmm. uh, "Cop Shoot Cop," mm-hmm. it's, it's like 17 minutes and 11 seconds, I think. And it's a, it's that that was my favorite track. I don't mm-hmm. know. I like longer tracks, slower tracks. Uh, I mean, the album was was good. Mm-hmm. I found out about it like some time before mm-hmm. from all the shit posts on the internet mm-hmm. like it's uh, what i said it's essential uh, doomer core it's 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 radiohead music. i really didn't like, know that though i don't know like there is a lot of different stuff in there a lot of genre bending mm-hmm. whatever but the only thing that like um, I'm not gonna say i didn't like it but it's very obvious it's mm-hmm. it's that it it was made in the 90s yeah it's it's peak 90s music like the the the, the one album to rule the 90s mm. i'd say it was this one mm. but like it had everything that the 90s had in music like in one album so that's that's what i that's how i see it um would you like listen to any of the other albums uh, or works? i don't know I mean, it's it's. <laughs> you didn't like it that much. Uh, it's the '90s. I I really don't like the '90s. In in almost, uh, I mean, death metal was good in the '90s, but I don't like the '90s musically. I think it was a terrible decade for music. You know, I mean, there there are some uh, I'd say essential doomer core bands yeah. from the '90s, uh, like the whole. Slow core, mm-hmm. or how how do you call it? Um, shoegazy. Well, yeah, it is described as shoegaze. Yeah, I mean, Lush was playing in the nineties, yeah. and they're like, I, I really love that band. Did yes, or were, are they even older? Yes, band, the band. Yes. Oh, they're way, way older. older. They're right, like yeah. from the seventies. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I don't know, just imagine like old people, all old people that are still doing gigs, like. I can't put like a the number 90s for a weird time. Like, the David, day. David Bowie was doing like metal in the 90s. Yeah, yeah it was. It was it an was, experimental era for many artists that I, were long was, on the scene. It was by a, then. An, an era, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. Like Pearl Jam was was the was, I think the band that got the most out of Definitely. 90s. Well, it was like 90s. musically. Like music, grunge uh, was what made the nineties. Yeah, but like apart from like implying, hip-hop and implying that that grunge was was a good genre f- for music. Is no, 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 not not. I didn't say that it was like the best genre for music, but it was the most popular genre at the time. 
in the 90s well, because that's like when everybody flourished yeah. kind of yeah. apart from like hip hop R&B and then when I mean, the major I'll boy bands watch, started let me, swarming in let me everything. give you a fact Nickelback started in the 90s really? so yeah let's not go we'll go anywhere near that uh, I, I have mean, no idea they were that it's like the, the whole um, like the transition we can talk about that later when we come to, to one of the artist, artists uh, I sent you the transition from the end of 80s where the Alternative, alternative yeah. was um, becoming its own thing. It was becoming yeah. more and more popular, and then you had the whole grunge scene, mm-hmm. and then you had the whole alternative metal and new metal like yes, Limp yes, Bizkit yes, yes, and yes, Disturbed yes, 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 and all yeah. those terrible bands. And there was I good mean... stuff, there was bad stuff, but I personally, it's just my opinion. I don't like the '90s that okay. much. So but you wouldn't listen to any other tracks? Yeah, I, I, I it's uh, older tracks. Yeah, yeah that, that that's the problem. That's why I said it's it smells of of nineties. Mm. It's literally the nineties. The the album. Okay. For me. Okay, fair. I don't know. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Did you have any questions for me while you were listening uh, to this? Wh- wh- how, how, why are you? How did you? <laughs> do you really listen to this? Yeah, I mean, I only, I don't uh, really listen to much of uh, other bands or albums from this genre. Okay. Or I don't even really listen to this band much apart from this album. Okay. I have yet to be intrigued by them to that extent. To well, maybe kind maybe of it's a one hit wonder l- like perhaps, with this album. I'm not this sure. album was the best thing, um, and then. Yeah, I've yet to give a chance to the other albums that they put okay. out. Okay. Um, but I like it because it's like uh, that music that you can just put in the background while you do something. Not, it's not really like white noise so that you can like focus on something, but it's just when you need to have something there while you're The bird is removed, and thank you. <laughs> um, and I think um, we all have that band or that album or even that song. I mean. Today it's really popular to find like playlists on YouTube for like music for studying, music for this, anime, music. anime beats, to chill, chill study beats, to God. and things like that. Yeah. And for me, this album is kind of that. What helps me? Uh, it just helps me be more productive. Let's say it's a lot easier for me to do certain tasks that I usually could never make myself to do when I have such ambient even music in a way uh playing for me in the background I and do i like understand. this whole space theme in vibe. the vibe in yeah. the songs and yeah it's very interesting fair enough yeah okay I, I i don't listen to when i have to do something like actually do something you know like get up and wash a lot of mm-hmm. clothes or do the dishes mm-hmm. or whatever then his music is is I listen to, to a lot of heavier stuff when, well, I, yeah. when I have to do something yeah. like, especially the, the catchy heavy stuff with yeah, a lot of breakdowns that. and stuff well this is know. mostly like for studying when I don't want something like to distract me yeah but it's there enough to like calm me down and kind of focus me on I don't know what I listen I don't to know. when I'm studying I'm um, sure. I don't think you listen to anything <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I have a f- some atmospheric albums or mm. something. Uh, a lot of noisy stuff. Mm, okay. There's a band that I really, really want to talk about, but not not right now. Okay, not, for another not episode. Yes, it's it's one of my favorites. And okay. Yeah. Um, oh, 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 what did I send you? Uh, so we're going from the oldest artist. We don't artist, have to. We say? don't have to. Or do I do just the first thing you sent do, me? Do okay. whatever you want, but... I kind of wanted us to go to, to, to like through the eras together. Well, that's like... Well, I mean, that's what is the oldest band that I okay, sent you. Okay, so let's do the, 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 the best album that I sent you. True. Um, so, Kemo mm. sent me... An absolute uh, banger. A banger. Uh, the album is called With Teeth by Nine Inch Nails. Uh, this album came out in 2005. And now I really don't think I need to 
introduce say a lot about Marin the band, yeah, like because it's a very know. popular band. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you listen to this type of music, no, you you'll like they're, most they're, likely know they're very them. popular. You you told me um, to send you something older that I really like, mm, and I yeah. was like, well, yeah, and I like Nine Inch Nails, um, so. And I don't know how I never listened to them before. I don't know why. I don't know how I never came up across them when I had my phase of listening to like simply rock music you, you, and things you like that. You never had that level of, um, of crippling depression. <laughs> <laughs> and But like simply they formed in 1988 in Ohio and well I say they it's, but it's, it's literally a guy. just it's, one guy yeah, until like recently 2016 when another well, yeah, they say yeah. that he's now like a. No, uh, uh, Trent. Trent is is very very weird when it comes to to that. Like I, the latest information I got, that he's now also. A yeah, yeah, he he is uh, to he, stay there. Member. Yeah, I mean he he does have like long time members, uh, touring members mostly. Yes. I mean they they even record for him in, in the studio and everything. But like, Nine Inch Nails is is essentially it's he, yeah. what, what he does. It's his project, okay. so. Present. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so yes, you already said Trent Reznor. He's like the front man, the main man behind Nine Inch Nails. He's described as a singer, a songwriter, a multi-instrumental person <laughs> and producer as well. Yes. Um, now, uh, the I use Wikipedia for this mostly. Um, so, so unprofessional. So unprofessional. Uh, like but because, no, uh, usually when I research bands, I enter Wikipedia because they give you several genres to what the band could belong. Okay. So what I wanted just to compare uh, what people usually ascribe them to and what okay, Wikipedia so what, said. So what genre is So Nine Wikipedia Inch Nails? said Nine Inch Nails is basically four to five different genres. Okay. But it's kind of one genre but just subgenres I guess uh, it's an industrial rock band also alternative rock electronic rock and industrial metal yes so all of it yes it's correct no I, 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 maybe is it yes or no I'm, I'm not sure about <laughs> the, the alternative alternative rock what do, what, what is alternative I and don't know <laughs> what, what does it mean. I, I don't think they're um, they're alternative to to anything. They're uh, I, I, I'd say sure. experimental before experimental. Um, they, okay. before they like made the whole thing, the the whole industrial rock and okay. industrial metal. So with teeth, um, so I'll just talk about that era when that album because I think there's again no point in like saying the whole history Go, of let's, the band let's do the and history. the and everything uh, because this is the album that you sent me it has okay. I believe 13 tracks I think around 13 yeah. tracks I can check and um, well it's, it was written and recorded in 2004 where Trent Reznor was basically struggling with like alcoholism and severe drug abuse or substance abuse not really I it's guess the there's same, a difference. It's the same thing, um, right? And also, like, issues with his former manager and that I did not want to name uh, because not worth it. Um, and this is one of the albums that actually debuted on top of the Billboard 200s charts. Okay. Um, and I think they said that, that for that time, it was like their second time overall that it was in on this, on top of this specific chart uh, uh, yeah. and uh, I also have two comments or critics critics criticisms, criticisms. Uh, one is from the Rolling Stones Rob Sheffield he said that this album was the vintage nine inch nails sound while pop matters never heard of that like newspaper or whatever that. that is uh, condemned the album as Reznor's just ran out of ideas, and that's his whole album. Well, it's it's a so simple. No, it's it's not as complicated as some the of rest. the mm. yeah as the rest of their discography. 
I don't. Maybe that's why I, I like it. Mm. I it was mm. the first album I ever listened to by Nine Inch Nails, so maybe that's why. True. Good. Um, it's. I'm not even sure if it's my favorite by mm-hmm. by them, but uh, I really like that one. So. Um. They also launched a North American tour in 2005. Was supported by Queens of the Stone Age, which, by the way, does not have females. I was shocked. Wait, you don't know who the. I heard of Queen them, City. but I've never like saw who they who was in the band. <laughs> so you you expected like a at least female. a woman in the band, oh, like not as a front singer, but yeah. just to be in the band. <laughs> so they can justify the name. Yeah. <laughs> so it should be Kings of the Stone Age. <laughs> and also Death from Above, 1979. I've never heard of them before. Um, it's, a, it's, it's I don't. I'm, it's a thing. I it's a strange name. I uh, I'm not sure. Uh, also, they had uh, like other very important festivals and gigs like at the Voodoo Music Experience Festival where their opening act was Saul William Williams who's actually like a hip hop artist he also does poetry and other amazing things I've heard of him and a lot of people really like him and praise him I've okay. yet to actually sit down and listen and read some of his works but this was one of the things that was like I just stood there and was like oh okay now this is like another reason for me to like them because I always appreciate artists who bring um, not that known or just completely different um, music to their own uh, performance simply to just kind of open your uh, mind well not mi- yeah just I have to uh, show to you something something else. new yeah, yeah. Um, okay so it's just oh also just, okay and they ended this tour in 2006 uh, joined by Bi- Bauhaus, uh, TV on the radio, and Peaches, and I had no idea who Peaches was, but I had to look this up, okay. and it was a woman, okay. I saw her picture, and I was okay. like, I have to listen to her, and I have yet to listen to her, I just saw how she looks, and I was amazed, uh, and how said, about yes, Bauhaus? I need that. I know of them, I think I've heard maybe one song, Okay. Um, but I'm not that into that, it's a bit too heavy of a sound for me personally. It's, 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 yeah, it's, it's a sh- essential doomer core. Yeah, it's a but, bit too much for me yeah, personally. Go, go, go for the music. Uh, um, and also they released like a documentary in 2007 surrounding this tour and album. Yes. Um, which it's named by one of the songs from the album, but I can't remember. Um, and basically this home video release debuted at number one on both the Billboard Top Music videos and the Billboard Comprehensive Music videos. Not sure why they had to have separate categories for that. But. Oh, it's Billboard. Um, okay, but... Besides, so that's kind of like the general information, yeah, yeah. introduction. Now, my the personal... Opinion. Uh, okay, so the first track... Um, all the love in the world. I was okay. So when it first started playing, I was like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be so depressing." And I was listening it to this morning, and I was hoping it's gonna be something a bit more lively so that I could wake up. Nope. Um, but then when it came to like the third minute, and when it did the whole switch, I was like, "Oh, oh, I like this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. this is it." And uh. From that point on, like each song was heavier and heavier. Was better and better yeah, yeah. for me, because yeah, the first two songs are, are kind of always. I think on their albums, the first two songs are always the, the slowest, the mm. softest, and then it goes. Yeah, and it was really um, like the heaviest interesting song. Interesting because I wasn't expecting that sound from them for some reason. Not what sound? Well. It, they remind me a lot of Foo Fighters in this album, at least, or the songs that I. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah. It has like that. plus his vocals also remind me of Dave Grohl's vocals when Fair he enough. sings like the high notes and like the growl-ish raspy. I think it's mostly in the, in the in the in um, the hands that feeds. Yes. That yeah, that well. that's yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. The, the simplest song on the on the album. Uh, I think that's the most. And I think that's also why I really liked it because I really like Foo Fighters and I like yeah. that kind of rock music. Or okay whatever genre it belongs uh, to. What about the, the, the title track? Did you like um, that one? The... With the, Teeth. The, well, yeah. It was... I mean, they were all good. I really enjoyed the whole album. I really, I, Which I'm was definitely, your favorite song? Hmm, 
I can't remember the names, but if you like gave me the I can I, I, I pull out it. the I have it here. Uh, names so Hold I can up. remember. Okay. My my favorite is the I think it's the second track on the album that My I really favorite is, is Every Day is exactly the, the same. same. I remember that yeah, song because I think you sent it to me sometime. Ago. No, I had the lyrics written somewhere, I think. I don't I don't know. Um we're looking for the album. <laughs> so I can show you the here it is. Okay. Um I Enjoy. You know what you are. I really like that one. I was at one moment while that song was playing, I felt my I was going like Love is not enough. I was just Love is not enough. That's also that's a that's great also track. Really good song. Honestly. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was surprised that I enjoyed it because for some reason I had this. Also, I don't know why. Maybe you can explain this to me. But okay. at certain points, um, all I could keep thinking about is Phil Collins. In certain tracks, I don't know why, but I. I guess when it got a bit slower. Okay. Whenever the song got slower, I got Phil Collins vibes. I but mean, like his Phil solo career, not Genesis career. Oh. His solo career. I don't know why. I think there might there uh, might be something there. Maybe not at all, and I'm completely losing my. I don't mind. know. I mean. But I got the vibes for some reason. I don't listen to that much of, of Phil Collins, but a someone, someone is. Someone is here. Please be quiet, whoever you are. I don't listen to that as much <laughs> Hi. of, of, of um, Phil Collins, mm -hmm. but um, I understand, I guess. So what's what's the rating you told me? You rated all these? Yes, so I rated every album or artist, well, album, okay. um, out of five stars. Okay, and so I gave Nine Inch Nails with teeth 10 out of five stars oh, because that, I that enjoyed was, it that's, that that's much. Fair. That's fair. I really okay. enjoyed the album. and. I kept thinking like, okay, like how am I? Would you listen to that like on, on, a, on a daily basis? Definitely. Like I'm you even would... thinking of putting it on my phone to have like the whole album on my phone. I'll, I'll send it I mean, it I need music you. anyway. I'll send it to on you. my phone, so it's I'm definitely downloading it, downloading it, and I also saved like the playlist on okay. YouTube to have it for later. Okay. So. So. That is it when it comes to the older artists. So now, now we now we do the other stuff. Yes. God. Okay, so which one did you listen to next from these? Do we do? Uh, okay, let's do the the the, the jazzy stuff. Oh, okay, the, sure. The, the the dreamy stuff, the funky stuff, mm -hmm. uh, the 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 Korean stuff. Yes. Of course, you had to do it. Dream session. Mm -hmm. the, that's the name of the band. I think. I, I don't know Korean, so I have no idea <laughs> what the fuck what, what did it say. Dream <coughs> session. <coughs> is a Korean band from uh, Korea yes. and they play jazz mostly yeah. with a bit of funky yeah. stuff they do a lot of covers mm -hmm. they only do lives they yes. don't do studio versions they are mm -hmm. not on Spotify not on they are on Spotify any... actually but they I don't think have I saw, a big saw, saw a comment or something where they said they, they don't do that they only do like Live maybe videos or something. Maybe they. Maybe they just it's a love, recent thing. Yeah, they just love to flex on people because mm, they they, really they, they can fucking play those instruments. I mean, Asian people playing instruments like they they can liter literally like follow each other note for note like what the guy is playing on the guitar, the girl is playing on the piano or the bass or whatever. Mm -hmm. As it was, yeah, it was good. I'm I'm not sure if they even have like original material. I think they do have some. It's mostly covers. What's going on? <laughs> Why? We're back. <laughs> uh, so uh, we were talking about, about the, dream session. Yes, the Koreans. Um, yes. Uh, so, what were your impressions? First yeah, impressions. It, it, it was go It was great. There, there's no, absolutely nothing about the band anywhere. I, I tried. I didn't find anything. Do they even exist? I don't know. It's it's a it's, it's a mystery. A mystery. Um, yes. It's 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 good. I don't know. Um, would you yes. keep on listening to it even? Yeah, probably. Pro probably not not a hundred percent 
I don't know. It, it's pretty good. Like, it's not not really my jam. Like Type of 100%. jam. percent. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's um, good. Would you? Did you listen to the covers where there's actual singing, or did you? Only I listen? did not find those. There is a couple, but they're not. Uh, it is jazz. But okay. it's not as soulful of a voice that usually sings it as you yeah. would believe it's or the, expect. I mean, they, they had some funky stuff. I mean, probably that's why you yeah. liked it so much. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about that. Yes, yes. It's, it's, a, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing that, that makes music. Thank you. Um, so... Uh, uh, I forgot. Okay, so was there anything you wanted to ask me while you were listening to? How the how the hell did you find this? Um, there there's a couple channels on YouTube okay. that make a video that's a playlist basically. Okay. Um, and they put like playlists for different moods and things like that and there's one specific well a couple of specific ones that just put Korean music in so you can find like playlists for jazz playlists like oh chill night playlist or uh, playlists music, to make music you feel like to you're in a and cafe too, yeah. and things like that and uh, they were in one of those playlists okay um, and then I started researching as well because I was curious as to how popular are they okay. or who, who even are they and as you said, there's not a lot of information about them. I literally found nothing. Um, I mean, there is in Korean, but my Korean is not at that level yet. Oh, but once flexing, it is, flexing on um, the plebs. I'll try and translate it and learn more about them and see if they actually have a platform where they okay. post regularly, apart from YouTube and things like that. Um, because I'm not even 100% sure if it's a band dream session or if it's perhaps like their studio or their... We, we know be, nothing. We know nothing. Just, just type dream session on, on YouTube and you'll <laughs> yes. find some Korean people playing jazz. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so speaking of speaking jazz... Speaking of jazz, um, the band that you sent me is yes. a German band yes. founded in 1992 in... Mülheim on the Ruhr, or whatever the, that is, the city on the river <laughs> okay. in Germany, uh, and they're called Boren on the Club of Gore, uh, and the album is called Patchouli Blue, and I had to Google what a patchouli is. And what and is a patchouli? It's a uh, herb or flower okay. uh, in the family of mi m like mint that mint okay. is in, and it's like used for different purposes and stuff like that. And it's an album that came out uh, earlier this year, January? Yeah, or like, yeah I think in January. January. And basically, this group um, originally played in heavier bands. Uh, like seven inch boots and chronicle diarrhea. Uh, I do know about <laughs> that. <laughs> uh, I don't. I had perf this was my first time hearing yeah. about these groups. And uh, basically, they were described as a crossover of Between jazz and, and well, at first it was described as a crossover of jazz and ambient music, and they self described it as, and I quote. An unholy ambient mixture of slow jazz ballads, Black Sabbath doom, and down-tuned autopsy sounds. I've never listened to anything by autopsy. Autopsy? autopsy. Yes. I'm not sure how I'm, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But um, for now, it's a trio. It has only three members. Um, and it had a switch between two members because one of the, or, well, two of the original members left basically. Yeah. Um, and once Rainer Henselite left, who played the electric guitars, he left around 96, 1996, and then, um, um, who came? Oh yeah, Christoph Klöser. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing their last names correctly. So thank you, Germany. <laughs> um, and that's when they introduced uh, the saxophone sound more in their music. And there were a lot 
of instruments that I first heard in my life when I <laughs> looked this up and I had to look up pictures to see what okay. they were and I still have no idea what they are. Okay. I mean, I know, but I don't think, I don't know our Bosnian what, what, names for them. What instruments? Um, like the vibraphone, like the mellotron, the vocoder, the... I mean, that's it. <laughs> you can just say it in Boston; it's the same, I think. Yeah, but I don't think a lot of our musicians really use it, or it's not—it's not that really popular. I mean, I've never heard. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Google them, or I'll put pictures somewhere up here we, because we I was really confused. I was so confused. <laughs> yeah. And also, like, what's the difference between? A f- why, why is there a specific Fender Rhodes electric piano? Yes. Like what's the difference between a normal electric piano and a Fender Rhodes electric piano? And um, why do they have to put like Fender Rhodes? Fuck me if I know. Okay. Um, okay, so whoa, the information that I found is from allmusic.com. Oh, it's not Wikipedia. It has, uh, it has actually like a lot about the band's history and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I could not find anything about the remaining band I have yet to talk about on this site, so it was a bit harder for them. But they said that the influence for, first of all, their name, Boran and their club of gore. Yeah. Uh, Boran means um, <laughs> a person that drills. Drilling. Yeah, yeah, drill, drill, drill. I, I'm not just if it's a person I or mean, if it's uh, the the tool, the drill, the drill. I'm not. I, I mean, doesn't matter. You, you know what bore means? To, to bore something. No, I'm not. To bore into something. Oh, okay. You know. And then the Plastic. club of gore part came from the inspiration of the Dutch band Gore. Um, now they had many different influences for their music. First being, and the one that I could notice the most when I first heard their sound is the film noir soundtracks. Yeah. Then the bleak sonic landscapes of Lustmar. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, his name. He's another artist that does similar music to them. Um, the scores of Angelo Badalamenti. Uh, the languid sax and soul ballads of Ben Webster. And the bleak, perverse violin imagery from the novels of Big Jim Thompson. I do not know any of these people. Okay. <laughs> this is my first time but, hearing. But the album. What do, do we... wait? Do you have any facts before we continue? So I couldn't really. I don't think it was um, that updated. Okay. The information because it just said that they released this last album in 2020 and that's it there's yeah. not really a lot of like background on it but i do know that with like previous albums they experimented a lot because at the beginning they were like very dark ambient i mean they still are but then they had this switch with the new member yeah, and yeah. now turning more jazzy more smooth in their sound and um I just didn't find a lot about this specific album that you sent me. So do you have any facts? I do not have any facts. I just listened to it because it sounds good to me. What do you think? (laughs) So I was also surprised. Uh, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars as well because I actually really liked it. Because it is just like spiritualized for me. Like that that type of music that that I can... That is a surprise that I can, you know, have in the background because I didn't even realize that I listened to the whole album throughout um, because I was listening to it while I was researching about them and like the whole album passed and I was like, well, when did when did the songs change? I thought it was like all one long yeah, yeah, song. The, yeah, the, the, song, the, the changes are really... <laughs> smooth, like not... smooth, very smooth transitions that you don't even realize it's a second Yeah, I, I, I also noticed song. that while listening. Um, so that's why I got completely lost and didn't even realize that I listened to the whole... Well, the whole album has like 10 songs, around 10 songs. Oh, I, I can check that for you, I have it um, here. I know all of them are know. around 10, all of the albums are around, yeah. around 10 songs. Um, so it's not that long of a listen, plus the songs aren't that long individually. Um, I mean, they are pretty... Well, not for, like, instrumental, for me at least. Um, and, like, when I first started listening to it, the first song and everything, I was like, okay, so when 
does the vocal come in? I'm waiting for there it, but there's no, no vocal. vocal. Which I think if there was a vocal, I wouldn't like it, in all honesty. I think because I don't know. of the ambiance and everything. It's all okay, I'm watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is why I liked it. Um, yes. Um, I don't know what else to say because they're quite different. I would personally... You haven't heard something like this before? Uh, not really. I mean, okay. I've heard like dark ambient music before, but I never heard it mixed with the jazz. Yeah, like sounds. some people, I, I, I've seen people calling it doom jazz. Mm -hmm. It has doom in its name, I like it, so I don't know. Um, well, yeah, I think I saw that in the Wikipedia genre well, description know, or yeah. something like that. Um, I didn't write what the genre for them was. Um, I even wrote down like all the names of all members, but I really, I can't. I'll just butcher them for no reason and you can just Google it up. It's not that of an important detail right now. Um, I really don't know what else to say. It's it's a good. It's good just video. ambient music. It's great. I could listen to it in the background, have it while I'm doing other things, just like with spiritualized. But this is more of like, it gave me like, um, there's this aesthetic mm -hmm. uh, that's been becoming really popular lately called dark academia. What the fuck is dark well, it's academia? It's like being studious, but it's like having that aesthetic, like more. Um, I'm not sure how being to. Being a smart goth. <laughs> Well, gothic architecture type. Okay. When you have like those, you know, big colleges, okay, like Hogwarts, I know, I know, I know, for what, example, yeah, yeah, and yeah, things yeah. like that. Um, it's becoming quite popular lately. Although I prefer like the softer version of that. I'm not that into the dark academia, but no, that's yeah, a completely because, different topic. Because you um, know, I, I, I <laughs> if I'm gonna study, I want it to be positive. Like I'm already depressed enough. I don't want to focus on depressing studies. So. Or the depressing that's, aesthetic of studies. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. Um, yeah. Okay, so we had the, the, our agreements with, I think, all of these so yes. far. It was jazz, it was yes. another jazz. And it now it's time for two completely the different... Opposite, different things. You yes. gave me a... Singer. Yes, from Norway. Yes. Aurora. 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 Yes. I don't do R's very well okay. in English. She's a Norwegian singer, songwriter, producer, whatever. She was born in 96. Mm -hmm. So very young. And she does pop music. Yeah. Bjork type pop music. Mm -hmm. um, Bjork pop, the genre. Yes. Um, <clears throat> And uh, you sent me the All My Demons Greeting Me as a Friend yes, album. Yes, it's her first album. Okay, I actually knew a song from that album. I did not know that I knew that song because it was a pretty popular song. I, it was everywhere at some point in Which the past. Run Runaway, I think. We played it actually on our team building camp like all the time. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. During the parties, but I think it was a so remix to be fair. It, it, or something it, like it that. drilled, yeah, yeah, drilled yeah, itself yeah. into my head while I was drunk. Makes sense. Um, yeah, it's. Um, I wouldn't listen to this on a daily, daily basis. I, I, I actually wouldn't listen to this. It's not mm -hmm. not that it's bad. I think it's it's great. It's she really has a good voice. Mm -hmm. She did a David Bowie cover, which was pretty good. Um, she does she's make, doing something different yeah she does good music but to me it's a bit generic mm -hmm. and i don't i mean I, I here's the deal she's gonna be a great artist in like 10 years well she but, does need experience and yeah uh i think it's it's like the, the lack of experience and the, the whole I don't know. I don't, Young artist I don't, is a bit I, throwing you off. I don't listen to, to pop music. That, yeah. That's the deal. Like I, I don't mind if she's young or old or whatever. I just don't don't listen to it. I mean, it's not like Billie Eilish levels of bad. It's just... <laughs> Everyone not, attacks to, to you me, in the comments. <laughs> to me, personally, it's not that... Um, 
groundbreaking or mm-hmm. anything. As people put it to be. Well, I'm not sure what people say about it. I have not read many critics or anything because I wanted to have a personal, you know, first for my own opinion, then check out. Um, just like with, I'd say, Billie Eilish. And mm-hmm. um, like, she, she, she's not doing anything new. Yeah, she's that's not doing anything uh, what special. I wanted to say. Like, that's like one of the examples for me. Uh, if you remember in our first episode when I said that there's those girls that simply do that indie voice in singing yeah. and that's like that but she doesn't do that it's similar yeah it's it's similar it's it, but it, it's good but it actually i mean the, the nice. first time <laughs> the first time you, you i personally heard it like i was like I, i've heard this before like this type of singing the the whole thing and um maybe that's why i i, I didn't like it it's it's not mm. bad it's just that i personally it reminds it's, you it's, of it's it's, it, it's just my opinion um yeah, I, I, it's genuinely not bad, mm-hmm. but it's not for me, I'd okay. say, you know? Um, I showed it to my mom last night, okay. and all she kept talking about was her hair, and that's how, yeah, that's how. Okay, it. yeah, fair <laughs> she enough. She was like, oh my god, all of the people from Scandinavia have such beautiful skin and hair, they're all so fair and light, and I okay. wanted to have her hair. Um, yeah, that's that. She that's didn't even like much. focus on her. Didn't, I don't think she even realized she was singing. That's she was pretty just much. At her. That's pretty much it. Like if, if she did something like in her own. I mean, if she's doing this the way she likes it, mm. go ahead. You're doing great. You're gonna be great one day. Yeah. I mean, she 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 is already pretty pretty out there, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, one day I think she's gonna be like really popular. Yeah. Oh really yeah, big. definitely. Um. It's just not not something that I listen to, like, you know. Yeah. It it, it is good. It is nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's. Would you did you listen to maybe any of her newer things? Because it did send you her I first. I have no idea. I listened to to that album, the Runaway song, Conqueror song. Oh, what else? I think I listened to to the entire album, mm-hmm. I'm not sure, maybe I missed a track or two. Nothing okay. special to me, okay? Um, now, time for me. I, 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 I give it I give it a, a score out of five, thank okay. you. Um, what, what, wait, what, why did you send me this, why do you like it, why what, what do you listen I to it? I don't know, it's just, it makes me feel magical and as if I'm in a forest and that's the forest singing to me. Have you ever heard of <laughs> folk metal? That's too wild. <laughs> I, this is like tame, I'm, peaceful, yeah, whispers tame, peaceful, in the night. Like, like a, a dude with the flute sitting in a forest and like going... You know, I know of it and I, it's not the same energy. Okay. Um, okay, now the last artist that we will be talking about today and... Um, the People, please third artist that you sent me oh yeah it's it's uh, something that so you don't listen to rating my rating is 2.5 to 3 out of 5 stars we're breaking up uh how dare you reason is i will say but first a short introduction, introduction. on who they are yeah. so their name is odious mortem the album is synesthesia synesthesia I'm not sure how to where where yes. the accent goes and stuff like that. And it was released this January 2020. Um, now the genre the Wikipedia described is death metal and technical death metal. Okay. Uh, they're from San Francisco. They formed in 2000. Okay. There's something in my hair. And they're featuring featuring ba- band members from bands such as um i'll get to that part to their musical style features technically complex downtuned guitars and relentless pummeling drum work that's that's every every death metal says. band ever <laughs> uh lyrical themes are humanity the earth drugs psychosis greed fear suffering society annihilation human consciousness and collapse of civilization that's every death metal band yes. ever okay <laughs> um so it was formed by casey howard who plays the drums in this band yes 
uh, together with David Siskin, the guitar, and Dan Eggers. Uh, Eggers, I don't know how you, what, who are you? And <laughs> guitar and okay. vocals, or the vocals. Now, he's the one I'm mad at the most because I do not like his vocals at all. Come on. Um, it sounds like he's not even trying. To be honest, like that's how it sounds when I listen because you showed me other artists that yeah, do this type okay. of singing. It sounds yeah. like he's not really trying to be honest. And okay, but I'll okay. Let me finish this. Um, they signed under Unique Leader Records after like their demo was released, okay. and then they film oh film sorry. Um, Recording. Recorded their debut album, Devouring the Prophecy, with Matt Satello of Decrepit Birth in 2004. Um, and after 2006, and they, are, they, they, they had a tour with the Deeds of Flesh, um, made uh, a new album, uh, Cryptic Implosion. They were also uh, part of the Maryland Death Fest in 2007. Um, now, when it comes to the members, Dan Eggers, Joel Harner, and KC uh, joined Decrepit Birth in 2000, until 2010. Yeah. Anthony Trapani recently joined Severed Savior. And Siskin is the jungle and drum and bass under the Elias Warbreaker. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the vocal and everything. Okay. To be honest, um, the music is great. Okay. I really enjoyed like the instrumentals and everything. I was like hyped. I was feeling it. I was like, yes, like I can just imagine how great this will be. And will then, be, and then the dude comes. In. And then he comes in, and I'm just like, no. Why? Why? What, what did you expect? I mean, it's. I honestly expected a stronger. It, it, and it's pretty voice. strong. Like you, you were jamming to Toxic Death in 2017 in Tuzla. I was. Drunk. And that was the type of vocal that they no. were doing. I mean, I didn't even hear the vocals to be honest. When they play live, you hardly. But that's like not on the band; it's on the sound system, um, and everything. Plus, it was in an open space; it was like a park. Um, and I don't know, like maybe his vocals sound better live. Maybe it's just like the production, to be okay. completely yeah, fair. It, it, because for me it sounded like like genuinely it was not filmed or sorry recorded it that was level. a bit weirdly produced on this album because yes. it was like but it's like he was um toned down and the music was made to like be louder than him which i would have liked if they if he was sometimes louder than the music if that makes sense okay so it's a production thing i i guess okay. i'm not an expert on that so i can't say i mean sure did you listen to it on your laptop or on, on the with headphones? my headphones? Maybe, maybe you should, you should have just like. I, I can play it right now, but it's not gonna no, change anything. Copyright. Like, um, listen. It's just that. plus. I mean, to be completely fair, I usually don't like that type of metal yeah. singing, metal vocal Vocals. performance. Yeah. Um. So. It was to be expected of me not to be that attracted to it. So that's like the only reason why I gave it a 2.5 or 2.3 so out odious, of 5 stars. So odious, more If it had a better vocal, okay. it would have been a 5 out of 5. A name, give me a good death metal vocalist. I cannot, because I cannot remember. Give but me <laughs> another technical death metal band. I don't know. You cannot, because you don't know. And no, you, you gave showed it, me many bands. And you gave it 2.5. Yes. Fuck. Plus, to be honest, I wasn't feeling the lyrics either. Because I it had was, to look them up. It was a spiritual, lyrical, miracle, individual thing. Okay, why didn't you like the lyrics? I don't know. They're... Okay, so this is my deal with um, metal bands in general. I first look at the name band name, and, and I just think it's it's as if there's like a competition between the bands on who's gonna sound more pompous and more what's the word in English pretentious. And in, in you mean in death metal? I guess I don't know. 
kind of. Uh, because most of them like would will put like a Latin name, phrase, word, or something like. Yeah, it's a genre Something thing. that's supposed to represent something also scary and dark and. Okay. Horrifying, and then the album names as well. Oh my God! Like. I mean, it's te- <laughs> technical death. Like they they do that all the you, time. Yes. Yeah. And it's a bit annoying to me. Like, just I mean, name but, the album. But look, like, look, there's like. This is. This, the, the album name should just be 12 tracks of me screaming. And look, that there, would be how, how about you, you mentioned uh, Deeds of Flesh? Never heard of them before. Yeah, but do they sound very pretentious to you? Well, the deeds of Flesh. Yeah. It's biblical. It's literally biblical, I think. Uh, it's pretentious. Why? To be biblical. Why? And whenever it takes, I don't, it's just a personal thing. I think when someone takes like uh, out of the Latin uh, language that the names and are like the Bible and like the religious okay. and things like that. Even like pagan, when they take words that are like the pagan, okay. it's very pretentious to me for some reason. I don't know why. It just sounds like it. What? What? what, what? <laughs> that's just. But that's just okay. my personal taste and opinion. It's not a fact. And it's not a general belief, so move on. Um, I mean, cryptic implosion. Come on. No, I. Th- that's the thing with death metal. It's it. It's made to to uh, severed se- warbreaker. Hold up. Wow. <laughs> hold up. It's made to to be. What what what's the world? Excessive. Mm, yeah. Eccentric. No, excessive. excessive. No, there's a band called uh, Fifty Five Gore, and that's that's no, that's the the short version. The whole version, uh, the the entire band name has fifty five words. Okay. Describing. I don't even want to mention that. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's made to be excessive, to okay. to go over the top, to to do too much, I mm-hmm. guess. It's 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 the, the the whole point because they're musically pushing the the boundaries into the extreme. It's only logical that the naming goes with that as well, you know. Yeah. So that's it. We're oh, 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 we're not done yet. We are. Are we? Wait. Yes. We're done. And it's time to end it. Oh. Uh, okay. So. The next it was episode a pretty is, good is, is, turnout, if you ask me, because the majority of the things we showed each other we liked. Do, do, um, okay, do we do this again? Yeah. Okay, next episode is gonna be... February favorites, things that came out in February that we really enjoyed, new just releases... Feb- I can't say, the, 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 just the things February. that came in the second month of the year. Yes, um, so you can look forward to that sometimes uh, in early March. Uh, because we're just waiting for February to finish officially. Yeah. Um, Ooh, there's gonna so be that some we don't, great, So that great, we don't miss any albums or artists. death metal. Pretentious um, death metal. So it is time to say goodbye. I hope you will join us next time in the next podcast. And Producer, please wake up. We need to finish this. He's, he's literally sleeping over there, I think. It's fine. Um, and we will talk to you in the next episode. And leave your suggestions, comments, and everything down below. That's it. Yes. Bye! Can you say bye? Please be normal Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> bye. I'm, I'm awkward. Bye.